which I probably should have brought with me. It would have made the, the event so much more enjoyable. But what's important about Dr. No is that I want to tell you this. Just like we had the twist on Superman, because Lex Luthor in my book is actually the original Superman. <coughs> the twist in this book is, in this tale, is that Dr. No is the name of the film. And so the song that plays to Dr. No is known as the Dr. No theme. Well, the Dr. No theme is actually the James Bond theme. Thereby making the James Bond theme actually a super movie. Think about that next time you'll listen to those. That's Dr. No. Anyway, I'm Mr. Tam Lane, real life super villain. You can find me on Facebook, on the internet. I also like to do weddings, about mitzvahs and briskies. You see on your screen? I don't know. Thank you, and I'd like to interview here, Miss Finger. As the uncredited co-creator, I believe is the term. Yet I was reading Wikipedia for my research. No, not Wikipedia. And the very first paragraph, it's like Bob Kane is just a footnote. It's all Bill Finger did this, Bill Finger did that. This is true. So can you elaborate more so on what this term uncredited means at the moment? Well, it just means that Bob Kane was a good business guy. Bob Kane was a good business guy. <laughs> he Bec went, got contracts in place, and didn't include anyone, and just said, that he was a tracer. So Bob Kane juked Mr. Finger behind his back with contracts. This was the old days. This was easy to do. I mean, even Siegel and Schuster, they didn't get rich off of Superman. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but if Bob Kane had his way, Batman would have looked like Birdman with a yes. black domino mask and wearing a red, red unitar with some weird wings. Yes. And what did Mr. Finger suggest to Mr. Kane? Well, if he was going to do the bat. Should be more like a bat. Should be more like a bat. Gray, black, blue. Uh, so Mr. Kane uh, <laughs> heeded Mr. Finger's advice. And rather than having Birdman, who looks like Robin, boring, we now have the cowl, we have the gloves, yeah. we have a cape like wings. Yes, we have the Batmobile. All the other teeth that well, yeah, let's get into it more because there's a lot of work to be done creating a universe. So, what did what else did Mr. Finger contribute to this franchise? I'm sure he must have done a couple of other things. Well, you know, what didn't he contribute to the franchise? He named Gotham City. He named Gotham City. He came up with most of the characters that we love and adore. I believe he's inspirational to all those supervillains I love, right? Joker, Joker, Penguin. Cat, you can tell there's like a little theme, there's a feeling with them, right? You can yes. tell that one person was sort of behind the impetus of all that. Is a, is, was there a darkness to your grandfather, or was he just able to channel it? He was able to channel it. He walked around with his book all the time, and he would break down, you know, all kinds of ideas, and he would go to a lot of movies and do a lot of cult reading and pull his, you know, information from what was going on. So how can we, or how can you, or what's being done to get Mr. Finger's name on the next film or TV show that comes out? It seems like uh, well, someone's I'm, making money here in Hollywood. There's a lot of people say. making money off mm -hmm. of this. But mm -hmm. um, if you'd like, there is a Facebook page right now trying to push for kind of for the TV show Gotham. So if you want to set up on Facebook. Um, we're in the process of completing a tribute film to show in San Diego next week. Woo! And we're always, you know, talking about it, spreading the word, tweeting about it, Facebook. There's tons of different pages that support Bill's work and what he's contributed to the mythos of Batman. Um, you can talk about it with your friends, share the knowledge. You know, that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Um, I did respond to DC Comics recently, they had stated that they were all good with us, and that's not, it's not true. Because who's us? It's you. Me. Well, I do have a son. Oh, you have a son. But I'm learning right now what my options are and trying to figure out what to do to make everything the most of it. 
Now, the, the funny thing to me is that this is news to me that Bill Finger is not associated with Batman. Because to me, I, I'm aware, I guess I take for granted that I'm aware that Bill Finger is Batman. Sure. So I didn't know that the rest of the world wasn't aware that Bill Finger was the Batman guy. I mean, Bill Bob Kane is, you know, you got to stand, the house that stand and Jack built kind of scenario, but but more one sided. Because, yeah, because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> other guy's true. not the writer. It is yeah. true. Um, a lot of people have come to me since um, the book came out or listened to different podcasts. Right, the book was written by uh, Mark Tyler Nobleman. Yes. He wrote a book called uh, the. What was it? Bill the Boy Wonder. Bill the Boy Wonder, which is a biography about her grandfather. He has done some excellent work raising awareness to this issue. Yes. I had them both on my internet radio show that you can still find on Blog Talk Radio. That was a fun show, right?